Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will talk about a very important concept in the Dart, which is called a null safety. I request you guys don't forward this video, watch the video till the end and try to understand each and every concept in detail. So before I start the video, let's understand the topic that I will cover in this video. We'll start from what is null safety, advantages of the null safety, nullable and non-nullable kind of variable and finally I will talk about late keyword in the Dart. So without wasting time, let's get started. What is null safety? Null safety was actually announced in July 2020 and it was implemented in the Dart version uh, 2.12 and if I'm not wrong, as per the Dart team, it says that the null safety is a major addition in the Dart version 2.0. What is basically a null safety? Null safety is a feature that prevents your variable from getting the null values. That is, using null safety, it's not possible to assign null values in my variable. Means, I can have a value in the variable, but I cannot have a null in my variable. So such a variables are actually called a non-nullable variable. Let's understand this example. Here, I created a variable called x here, and I simply want to print the value of x. Now you can see, Surprisingly, this Dart pad is giving me an error that the non-nullable local variable x must be assigned before it can be used. It means this x variable cannot be used before it is being initialized. So if I try to run this, I will get a compiled and error. By default in Dart, whatever variable you create will have a null safety. It means you don't need to go for any different setting to implement null safety. By default, with the latest version of Dart, whatever you might be using, you are actually working with the null safety. So null safety is available for all types of variable. What do you mean by type of variable? So if I'm adding string here, it's compulsory to initialize the variable before it is being used. That is, it cannot be a null. And even explicitly, I cannot assign null value in this variable because it's a non-nullable variable. But however, if I change this variable to var, that is, I'm using the variable x as var. Now in this case, it's fine. And if I run this, you can see I will create an output null here and even if I change it to dynamic and I can simply assign value null in the dynamic. So if, if I run this you can see I will get output null on the screen. Make sure that null safety is only applicable for type variable that is for int, double, string, maybe for uh, your own type like your object type, employee, customer, student and so on. But when we have a var or dynamic type of variable, it can have a null value. But I don't recommend you guys to use this concept practically when you use Flutter application development. Next thing, Dart has a sound null safety. Now, what do you mean by sound null safety? As we have seen that if your variable don't have a value or if it has a null value, you will get a compile time error. So Dart ensures that this non-nullable feature of variable will persist even if during a runtime means it will ensure your null safety not only during compile time as well as during a runtime also. Now what are the advantages of null safety or why someone should use the null safety in the code? The null safety concept has a three major advantages. Let me explain one by one in detail. Consider the world without a null safety. In this case, if I have variable x, then before calling some method on the x, let's say I'm calling do something here, then I must ensure that this variable x should not be a null. So I should write this boilerplate code using a if or I should go for try catch and I should make my code ensure that I should not call any method or I should not perform any operations over this variable if it is null. So that's what I need to check this thing manually each and every time. So if I use null safety, I don't need to write this code so it can save my time and it can save my efforts. Second thing, it makes my code safe. Why I'm saying safe? If I'm using the null safety, I'm 100% sure that my variable won't have a null value, not even a compile time, not during even a runtime. So I'm 100% sure about the variable won't have a null value that simply makes my code safer and I won't encounter any null pointer exception or null errors in the program. Third and the biggest advantage of null safety is 
it makes your code faster. Why I'm saying faster? As we're using the non-nullable variable, that is, we're using the null safety in the code, Dart performs the optimization in your code such that your AOT, that is, ahead of time compilation, can produce the smaller and faster native code. Now let's talk about what is nullable and non-nullable kind of variables. Dart allows us to create two kinds of variable. One is called a non-nullable and second is called a nullable. Non-nullable variable means I cannot assign null value in the variable. However, when I use question mark while declaring a variable, this kind of variable is known as a nullable variable. Now you might have a question, what's the need of nullable variable? Consider a situation where you are getting the value of y variable not by yourself. You, are, you might be receiving value of y from some method. So that method might return a value or it might return a null. So in this case, the y variable cannot be a non-nullable. It has to be a nullable because you are not sure about the value. It might be a value or it might be a null at the end. A non-nullable variable can be there for a variety of reasons. We can have a simple non-nullable variable like this. Even a method can have a non-nullable type of parameter. A method can even return a non-nullable kind of value. Even a list can have a non-nullable type of items or there can be a non-nullable list. Now, make sure that line number 5 and line number 6, they are different. When I'm writing int question mark here, it means my list 1 can have the null items. Let's say I'm writing 10, 20 and I'm specifying null. Now you can see this code works. The reason here is I specified int question mark. But if I remove the question mark, you can see I will get an error. So this type of declaration indicates the item in the list can be a null. But if I'm specifying this type of declaration with the question mark, it means a list itself can be a null. The value of non-nullable variable can be assigned to nullable variable, but the value of nullable variable cannot be assigned to non-nullable variable. Try to understand this example. Here I have variable x, which is a nullable variable, and I want to call the method do something here. And inside this do something, you can see I have a parameter y, which is of course a non-nullable. So if I'm trying to pass x here, then I will get error. The reason is, as I said, x is a nullable variable and the value of this nullable variable cannot be directly assigned to this non-nullable variable. Now in order to handle this, there are total three solutions. The first one is by ensuring that the value of x should not be null. So this has to be done manually by writing the if and just check out that if x is not null, then only call this do something on the x. The second technique is by passing some default value. Let's say when I'm calling do something, I can write like this x and then question mark, question mark and the zero. So it means if x has the value, then the value of x will be assigned to y. But if in case x is null, instead of using the value of x, the value of zero will be assigned to y. This default operator I have explained very well in detail in my video called operators in the dart. The third technique is by using the exclamation that is when I'm calling this do something I can simply write x and the exclamation. When I'm writing exclamation it means even if the variable x is nullable I'm sure about that the x has got proper value and it is not null so I'm requesting a compiler that hey compiler take the value of x I'm ensure that it is not null and proceed for the program. But in case if the value of x is null here then I will get the errors and that documentation says use this exclamation for nullable variable as less as possible. Now let's talk about late keyword in the Dart. Basically it's not the video where I'm talking about late keyword in detail. I will talk about only the specific concept of late regarding to the null safety. Consider I have a class called person and this person class has got two fields let's say the string name and the int age. Now you can see this program is giving me an error. The reason here is it says the variable name and variable age must have a value because they are the non-nullable. You can see these are the non-nullable instance variable. And the solution number one is I should place a constructor here. So I'm placing a constructor and I can write let's say this dot name and I can write this dot age. So this will resolve my error. 
In this case, the constructor that I have written, it is a constructor with positional parameter. If you don't know about positional parameters and all, don't worry, in my upcoming videos, I will talk about them in detail. So this person constructor is a constructor that has a positional kind of parameter and positional parameters are compulsory. That's the reason this code works and there is no problem. But if I make this constructor receiving the named parameter, now in this case, you can see again, I got error. Let me format my code. So I'm getting error from the dark pad that this variable name and age must be initialized. Then the solution here is I can write require here. So if I specify require means it's compulsory. So when I write required here, it means it's compulsory to specify the value of age and value of name here. Right now we have seen a constructor and constructor can solve the problem of this name and age variable here. But consider a situation that I'm getting a value of name and age not uh, through the constructor. I may, be, I may be getting a value from some method and that might be returning value uh, in case of future. So in this case, I can't rely on constructor. So I need a different solution here. So that has given the keyword called late. So if I specify late keyword here, then I'm creating the non-nullable variable, but these variables will have the late kind of initializer or we can say it has the lazy initialization. As I'm using late keyword for this name and age, it means the Dart compiler is giving me some time. It is giving me a chance that I can initialize this variable later on without using the constructor itself. In my upcoming videos, I will talk in detail about late keyword when we'll discuss the classes, objects and all the things. That's it for this video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like my videos share my videos, subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.